live. We got to get us some goddamn me wavy wings, man. Ah, uh, yeah, for sure. <clears throat> I ain't going to cap headphones. Big trash in this motherfucker. Yeah, we do got to get the... Uh on deck that's gonna be real play. hey you introduce your people hey, yo, this my man man cuzzo just dropped some little fire ish jew from the loo and zay downtown Good summer vibe. That's what I'm picking up from the video. It's been COVID, so they they really outside hitting them donuts like that. Krispy <laughs> Kreme style. Flat out. It's the Ill Max Showcast with Ski, man. We back. Y'all the homie looking like I really got it. I got Rob Simmons on me. You ain't fucking with my closet. I'd say they outside and they really sliding. But we don't give a fuck, nigga. We ain't never hide. Remember, we was broke, something we never forget. I've been in and out of jail ever since I was a kid. I've been in and out of hell ever since I could remember. Ever since I could remember, I've been hanging with the members. Ever since I could remember, heart been coded in December. And now I got a bag. And niggas. Queens, what up? Me to meet my demise. Mm, 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 it ain't no surprise. Yeah. When I got out the pen, I promise to never stress. Yeah. These niggas hate it on me cause they know that I'm the best. Uh, These niggas hating on me, so I gotta keep a vest. Yeah. These niggas hating on me, so it motherfuck the rest. Yeah. Sliding down 55, got the finny by our breast. Yeah. Sliding downtown, got the 50. Kings, what up? Like a motherfucking vet. And when I drop the top, now she wanna give me six. Growing up in St. Louis, I done been through a lot. But they know. Get the money and I fucking lay low. A 38 shooting through potato. Pull up on the side of a mama hit the window. The <laughs> man, cause we up right now. Got a bad little bitch trying to fuck right now. Y'all already know that I be on it. I'm off the perky, so we fuck until the morning. Black got the big 30 like CMG. You can get the action like you watching TNT. Niggas mad cause they bitches they be on Ski. it. Ski. What's the word? He had to brawl at the crib, dog. We ain't gonna talk about it today, though. Stupid head because she dumb enough. Macaroni with the silencer, it was stir it up. You ain't even hear it stumbling when you hurry up. When I got out the pen, I promise to never stress. These niggas hate it on me because they know that I'm the best. These niggas hating on me, so I gotta keep it vest. Yeah, man. Ski, let them know who it is, man. Man, that's your main man, Zay. Okay. Uh, I want y'all to go check that out uh, one time for the one time. Good oh. summer vibe. Kick, some of kicking out the loo. Got a good feel to it. Doing good. Video doing good too. Yeah. Shout out to the real supporters. Them numbers going up. Ah, uh, most definitely. Yeah. Straight up. <laughs> Flat out. But uh, what up, world? It's the Ill Max Show Cats Whiskey. Brought to you by Urban Access Network and FNX Fit. If you want 15% off of some supplements, turmeric, gummies, <laughs> apple cider vinegar. Gummies, mm. motherfucking krill oil, that's good for your heart. Right. You know what I'm saying? Help keep all that flowing. What they got for the kids, though? They got the kid multivitamin gummies. Gummies. So yeah, they got strong with the gummies. Hey, we gummy land. 15% off. 15% off. I don't see nobody throwing no 15% off. I no see cap. A, I saw a quick team. Not on no, not on no supplements. Nah. Nah. Cause the the product and the quality of it is, is is good and the quantity, yeah, it's a lot, yeah. As we used to say, hellas, hellas, <laughs> flat out, straight up. But hey, man, F and X fit. Everybody better get right, wake up, get right, wake up, man. Late nighter, late nighter, in the uh, business in the office. Yeah, late nighter. Uh. Weekday, look, let me tell y'all something, man. <laughs> Us over here at Urban Access, we do whatever it gotta be, whatever it gotta do, be done to be done. Yeah. Like it's no, it's no, it's no <laughs> cap, it's no convenience. Sometimes it's inconvenient around this motherfucker. Yeah. You know some, what I'm saying? Some point in time. And I go both ways. Like, I switch time for ski. <clears throat> ski switch time for me. Everybody switch time for everybody. Flat out, because this is the the business, so it's like that's how the network work. Exactly. <laughs> so it shouldn't be hard Flat for out. you to get the day that you need off at the, at the shit that's freelance, right? You know what I'm saying? 
And keep shit pushing. And keep shit pushing. Straight up. Yeah. Shout out to all the uh the small business owners and entrepreneurs. That's a fact. That you know, make it happen. How many days you open? You know what I'm saying? Three sixty five, whatever. But as long as you open, close, get the job done. Consistent. On a consistent basis. With integrity. Most definitely. And you wanna compete. Yeah. Keep striving to compete too. Don't right. don't, don't get too comfortable. If you're only making donuts, you need to be competing with Krispy Kreme. Oh, yeah. All day. I I peed, uh, shit, I, man, I'm in the drive-thru at, uh-huh. the, at the liquor store with the drive-thru. About two, three people in the uh-huh, pool. Up to the, yeah, two, three That's people in the pool. To the, <laughs> they had me fucked up Shout today, to though. I ain't in the drive-thru them. motherfucking uh, liquor store, man. Why, why you say fuck them, man? What happened? Bro, don't don't have me wait in the in the line to say I can't get that type of Red Bull unless I come in. What kind of Red Bull you was looking for? Not one of these. The the colorful ones you got to with the flavor you got to go in. Why you gotta I go said in? what? I don't know. They they running some game on the regular Red. There had to be a lazy motherfucker that told you that. It was two of them right there, and both of them said you got to come in to get yeah, that. for the flavor. We only got the regular through the drive through. All right, I'm out. You know what you just said after that? What if, if you even if I'm getting full? Then they would have been like, ah, well, you know, nah, we can, we can go just, get them for you because that's a whole that's a that's a pack. But it's just like that hit me with that. I was like, man, I'm good. But I seen like What's two three people pull up to the Popeyes and they, they ain't there no more. <laughs> like in the drive through, I'm that Popeyes the, closed, ain't it? Motherfucker, big close. You know, I already was thinking on ski. You know, you now be on the mitt for what it need to be. Yeah, bro, they need to put a Zazby's right there. Zazby's. Yeah, only one they got is uh, I know they got one in Columbia, but that's like the to me. That's like the ATL wing stop. Is it Zaxby's? Zaxby's. You said Zazby's. Well, we ski in there. It's Zaxby. Yeah, put that in the ski in there in the tuck. <laughs> Gotcha. Yeah. They got the fire ass chicken though. I ain't never had Zaxby's. Boy, and they just like canes, they give you the bread, the fries. Yeah, they got they got some size too though. And you think Zaxby's should be right there? Hey, all the supporters, all the listeners, if y'all tuned in, yeah. if y'all know what we talking about, just really think like what a pop right there. If Zaxby's give it a thumbs up, give it a night. Right. But I'm I'm a, I should have took a picture. We talking about Hawks Ferry, right, Hall's there Ferry, right the before Parker Road, right there behind the White Castles, right there behind the White Castles. Yep. Hawks Ferry, two seventy right area. Put his ass, he's right there. Nah, I'm telling you, bro. Nah, I'm telling you. if mm-hmm. you gonna keep it fast food, nah, ain't I'm, I'm, I'm gonna throw a Shake Shack. Ah, oh, nah. I'm gonna throw a Water Burger. See, it's it's in the wrong. Nah, see, do we we don't have a water burger though? Exactly. But what I was just keeping it with something that we that we have her just not in 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 the area. That's why I was going. You talking about in Missouri? Yeah, pretty. Because it ain't in St. Louis. You said in Columbia. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck Zaxby. <laughs> Straight up, they on it's all cap now. Man. Straight up. But, but yeah, yeah, fuck me up though. I ain't, I ain't, I can't man. go down and get a Red Bull like, like my man, like, and I, you know, I fuck with the watermelon. I'm nah. saying, no, you gotta come in for the flavor. Why the hell is you pulling up to the liquor store looking for flavored Red Bulls anyway, dog? You supposed to get liquor. We, it's a flavor. It's, hey, it's a drive through liquor store, dog. You yes. supposed to come through, and be like, yeah, let me get it fit the hand, nah, and then roll out. I was on my way to work, so I was trying to grab one of them. Hello, before I head in. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga go cap like in the drive like, though. Nah, this nigga go cap like he really be on so his way to work. So your people's in the drive through had home. me late. How you on your way from work and you work from home? Mm-hmm. Three cars in front of me, damn near four. I got away. Yeah, they cap. Nah, Y'all, I know what they how doing. You, how you? How you? How you? Yeah, on your they way the to liquor work. store, but they got all the Red Bulls that ain't flavor, and they just. <laughs> It, and they probably charging like three, four dollars. They pocket the they, that's coming in your hand in the drive through is straight in their pocket. They probably got a whole goddamn me case, a regular Red Bull. When you go in the store, you don't even see them. Okay. 
fuck. We still got to tackle the fact that you said you was on your way to work and you work from home. So when at the ten o'clock, home ain't home no more. It's work. No, nah, I'm, I'm talking about the cast. Ah, oh. yeah, that's why I said I I never been there before. I fuck with. Them. I was just like I ain't never really asked for a Red Bull through the drive through. That was a flavor. So I said okay. <laughs> I ain't even got time to pull off. And then you know you got to... You should have just bought a lot of them, though. They would have fucked with you then. You should have been like, what if I'm trying to get forward? I still got to come in. They would have been like, nah, we going to get that shit. Like, okay, bet. Nah, they ass probably would have been, you got change for a 10 looking ass because he finna pay. Nah. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nah. We're not yeah. doing none of that. But yeah, man. Um... Let me see what the fuck popped this week, man. Ain't nothing really popped this week. The weather popping. Uh, the weather showers popping. going in and out. They scattered. Scattered showers. Uh, scattered. we've been getting a lot of rain in the A. I mean, in in the low. And um, yeah, it's <clears throat> typical shit. It's warming up. It still get hella cold at night though. Right. It'd be like seventy during the day, but then it still be like nigga forty eight at night. Like I don't understand. Ah, yeah. Stupid cold at night. Like Stupid cold, bro. Yeah. Even yeah. if it say it's 65, it's like a cold-ass 65. Yeah. So Probably like, around like humi- 7, 8-ish. Humidity ain't kicked in yet. It's a wrap. Nah. Yeah. It's because all you niggas driving regular cars and shit. Niggas need to go electric. Skin electric. Unique. Electric. If you, if you could get a Tesla, would you get a Tesla? Yeah, I get a test. Do you think you would like that shit though? Nah, cause I don't a want Tesla hell expensive too. I don't want motherfuckers staring at me like that. I mean, it's not expensive, but the maintenance like you can only go to Tesla for the shit. Right. That's nah. I don't want that. And then it's just like I said, I don't want right because you like to call the hood mechanic over. Nah, but I just it is a Tesla hood mechanic. Did yeah, they got that? him on her? A nigga named Rich Rebuilds. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I think this is his name. I pr- I'd rather do a car than a truck, though. He rebuilds the Teslas. The damn he didn't build them from the ground up. The trucks look like uh, spaceships to me. The truck? Yeah, like the old school Chuck E. Cheese toys. And he used to go there and get the big truck, ass spaceship. Though? The Tesla truck. The pickup truck or the, nah. the truck where the wings come out the back? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I get a car. I like them motherfuckers. They just be smooth. Crew sell. You'll get a car. You don't want the truck. I don't want the truck. Because <laughs> they in the in the truck. Or the car. Either way it go. Uh. If you close up on it, you see that big ass monitor on the dash. Right. That bitch come out like it's the, the police situation going on in the in the center console. But uh, they be moving and grooving though. They just be quiet in the motherfucker though. And everybody just go past, be looking, going past. I'm like, yeah, yeah. That's rich, a, rich, that's rich, attention get it right there. Rich rebuilds. That's my nigga who motherfucking built the Teslas from the ground up. Mm. Flat out on he YouTube. He taxing on your ass. He taxing, but hey, he can get your shit fixed. Flat out without Tesla. Mm. Flat out, but uh, yeah, man. So. Last time y'all heard from us, it was what? It was Saturday? No, it was Sunday morning. We still had one more evening of Ski B-Day weekend, <laughs> which was the no barbecue, which I don't know why it's Ski didn't barbecue or nah. Ski didn't have nobody barbecue. Mm-mm. So that's, that was trash off the rip. <laughs> Anyway, you tripping? No barbecue, shindig at the crib. Pasta to die for. Flat out, pasta to die for. Shish kebabs. Uh, shout out to New York Grill one more gig. What's the nigga name to help them? They made the they made the food. Ah, uh, shout out to Mighty Man. Shout out to Mighty that Man. Know what he's doing up on that damn on this stove though in the grill. You hear me? Yeah, you know, wifey had brought home some salad, and I was eating the salad, and it was the motherfucking See, that's, the eggshell uh-huh. in my salad. Straight up. Oh, hell no. I, I should call that nigga right yeah. now while we on the cast. No, nah, ask tell, him about that. Tell him he got me fucked up. Damn, man, he took his time on that. He, he, he ain't trying to dress it up it right. Was, it was, it Move was a too salad. fast and it shit. Was, it was a salad. Yeah, he didn't. It was hidden, though. I know it was. And it started to wilt at the night. 
of being here. So that means I know he fixed the salad probably the day before he brought it to you. He fixed the salad the day of. No, he didn't. I watched him make the salad. That's cap. That's cap. This nigga Ill Mac think he missed the Cleo and shit. Nah, like he nah. know everything. You don't. That nigga, I watched him make. But if, if he had the shell, and he must have been moving too fast, moving the groove too damn fast. Yeah, because it was a big, it was a big salad. Yeah, it was silver pan salad. Yeah, I don't even really like that. I told Booty, I'd rather put him in the bowl. Put him in the bowl? Because the bowl going, I guess to me, in my, my mind is it's going to be more fresh of being able to take a, another day yeah. of the salad. Well. The pan, you just luminal for it. It's just too much airway going on. You get what I'm saying? It's not. It's a, it's a science. Yeah. But that's why you can't fix the salad until like. Hour before, right, uh, hour before, yeah. I Burton even like, told me she salad. was saying somebody had the salad bowl sitting on the ice right before though. Yeah, it's just to keep everything kosher. Yeah, like you gotta like salad is fragile. You can't fix that salad a day before, two days before. You know what I'm saying? You can't do that. No, a salad has to be made fresh before, right? Like right before the event. Yeah, that lettuce better be green like money. Green, straight up. Straight up. My favorite is the season, I must say. I fuck with the season. We, we agree on that. I don't give a fuck that. where we at. We agree if on they that. They got that on the menu before the main. Yeah, we fucking I fuck with, with the, season. the season all day. If they if they could just throw the sliced eggs in the season. <laughs> Man. Oh my God. And that's probably. You talking always, magic. Yeah. You talking magic. You talking soul. Yeah. That's shaking. E40. Right there. Sprinkle me, man. Sprinkle me, man. <laughs> All day Flat out But yeah Falling had- in water right. Sprank on my mind Man Y'all don't know nothing about that They had the draft today <sighs> Hey boy What's happening with the draft man And this is Hold up What, what draft is this NFL Oh NFL and NBA Both drafts happen at the same time I thought the NBA draft didn't happen until after the NBA season was over. Well, nah, let me let me rephrase it. It's the NFL uh, draft that was going on today. Okay. So, yeah, NBA. You know you just get to see all of the people. No. Nah. Because it's right after. Yeah, no, nah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, NFL. NFL. No, NBA. Yeah, they they still cooking. I ain't heard you say shit about your boys, but I ain't going to say nothing. Who the like some of them, something like that. Lakers fans, like LeBron fans, we we don't we don't say nothing right before playoffs. Like it's right before playoffs, we're not gonna say nothing. I guess it. That's how y'all. Hey, holler at me second round. Holler at me second round. I'm gonna be talking big shit. I'm gonna holler. I'm gonna be putting up big money, and anybody who want it can get it, including homeboy and OG Clark and OG Clark. He can get it. I ain't forgot. It. He was my main. Yeah. Yeah. Run that. Run that. But uh Harry had a prospect from the U, man. Who? Uh young man by the name of uh last name Perkins. He from U City? Yeah. Perkins? He related to Sam Perkins? You remember Sam Perkins? Uh Pervy brother. Jeff. He going to Oklahoma. That's where he at right now. He finna be a sooner. No, he is or something. Oh, he so he, is? Coming to, he coming to the pros. That's what I said. Where who he, who he coming to the pros to? They don't know. He a prospect. Oh, okay. That's why I said motherfuckers looking like new money tonight. What they saying he coming to in the draft? I don't what number know. he gonna be? What number they trying to trying to say? See, he y'all really pay in. attention to the number shit. You, you know don't? what I'm saying? Just because the day that it start, mm. I'm gonna call you to. You know what I'm saying? You. You pretty much only know if you in the top five, top ten. You get what I'm saying? The first day. But if you don't know, uh-huh. it just kind of, it just be very slight. You might get a call first thing in the morning. But what I'm morning. saying is, what number is that nigga? No, nah, I don't know. You don't know what number this nigga is? Nah. Like, what number is he averaging in? What you mean averaging in? They just I'm talking about top ten, top 20, top 50, top 100. Like, what top is we talking about? I mean, he a sooner, so shit, they up there. That ain't no. Mm, he not. He don't play for Alabama. Ah, here you go. That's <laughs> shout out to Humble. Yeah, shout out to Humble. That is the squad. But I, I, I was about to go there. I mean, he ain't playing for the Gators. 
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, we got to hit a game. I'm ready to give. I I ain't fucking paint my, my hey, chest you know, or nothing hey, like that, but, look, hey, you know. You know, Nate got the boo that's tied in with Philly. Mm-hmm. You know, Philadelphia going to the playoffs. Nate, mm. Nate trying to figure out, you missed the business, the luncheon today. Yeah, you niggas was bullshitting. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. And, and tell niggas Nate, was bullshitting? You yeah, were, yeah. I, 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 I personally hooked my nigga Nate up on the B-Day then the pasta to die for. Right. But and he ain't his ski up for the, ain't, for the company lunch? Yeah, we will talk about it. I'm gonna have to. Uh, yeah, you had Facetime hey, Nate ass. You on my nigga ski five minutes, <laughs> flat out, straight up. We had to uh, retable that. And if you swing back, Ill Mac jumping in. <laughs> oh man, them niggas is hilarious, boy. But yeah, man, like, what the fuck you gonna do, man? For as what? As far as the like. NBA playoffs. Where you going? Who you rolling? Man. Playoffs is starting. When? Are we already in? So you trying I don't to tell know if me? We already in. Like, nah, it normally is in April. It normally be around this time. No, no cap. Yeah, I mean in this playoff time, because like he said, because he said, "Oh, oh, babe, hit him up." Like, yo, yeah, we in there. Yeah, in there. Oh, so okay. let. Let me know what game you want to go to. And he's trying to go three games down, the, three teams down the line. Damn, and I'm like, bro, they might not make it past this team. Not Mr. Travel Lago. Yeah. Damn. Straight up. Nate the Great. Mm. Let me hit that up, though. Yeah, hit his ass up, see what he waiting on. Damn. Well, I'm going with BK. You know what I'm saying? So, uh huh. Regardless of where that, however it go down, you know what I'm saying? We going all the way. All right, Nate denied me. Fuck him. Oh, he hit the deny button? Yeah, he hit the deny button. Okay. Man, he, he called, he called him right back. He in the star 69 from the house phone looking at. Nate the Great. Hello? Hello? Yeah, I me and Ski doing the podcast, right? And we live. And we live. <laughs> so we talking about the NBA playoffs, right? Right. So we trying to figure out uh what game is all three of us going to since you got the plug. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying because I like when I talk when we you know when we had company lunch earlier. I missed and Ski said you ain't hit him up for, to uh, let him know we was going to company lunch, dog. What's up with that? I mean, it was a kind of on-site decision, you know. Oh, okay. And then the boss man, you know, the boss man was like, he wanted to go to lunch. So, you know, lunch was on him. So I just said, hey. Hey. You know how Ski, you know how he is, you know. He won't motherfucker do what he say, so I had to. I had to. <laughs> hey, that's Cap! That's Cap! That is Cap! That's Cap, nigga! Hey. No, that nigga still owe me money for the, for the lunch. That's what the problem is. Oh, uh, okay. Second of all, on the house. Ski, yeah, he, how you gonna, Ski, how you gonna, how you gonna offer lunch and say lunch on the company and then ask me for money when it's time when the bill comes? Oh, uh, okay. Because I'm a UCD nigga. He ain't clarify that. You city niggas don't do that, dog. Yeah, yeah, Just, nigga. I don't know what you city you went to, but them niggas is some scammers. Walk out on the <laughs> uh, walk out on the old Ponderosa on your ass. Walk out on the Ponderosa on your ass. You know what I'm saying? It's like Ski said. <laughs> but uh, hey, Pond- hey Ponderosa, hey dog, you tripping? Got that chicken fire, dog. Hey right, man, hey, right. we need to make a documentary on that on that chicken, dog. It ain't even no Ponderosa in St. Louis no more. They all in Illinois. Oh, straight up. They still got Ponderosas. In nah, the, they in Illinois. They, they... You ain't going to find one in St. Louis, though, bro. St. Louis done with them. You yeah, ain't going to find one nowhere. It out. Nowhere. Illinois only. Mm. Nigga, I remember well, we yeah, used to get they... the 50. But, yeah, what game we going to, man? 
Yeah. I don't know, man. I gotta see. I gotta see what the first round looking like, man. It gotta I be. The, it said. gotta be the first round because you don't know who gonna be who. Right. We might not make it out there. First we might round. not. The, hey, they, Detroit might not make. I mean, Philly might not make it out there first round, dog. Right? I mean, hey, you might be right. I think she said they playing Phoenix, and and I think they had the top the top record in the West, didn't they? Yeah. Who oh, Phoenix? Oh, yeah. Damn man. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. yeah, Philly over with. So we coming back to the AZ. I don't know. I gotta see. I don't know. I gotta see. I gotta see. I don't know exactly. All right, figure it, figure it out. Round. Figure it out. Get us a Saturday or Sunday game. And um, yeah, three tickets, man. Me and Ski I, don't know, man. I see what I see what I can do, man. You know, you niggas be I can like yeah, I can't get off work, man. Take no time off or nothing. Uh boy. Or, or, or even or even or I guess that's why I gotta be Saturday, Sunday. But then niggas need permission and shit, but <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on, don't neither one of us <laughs> niggas need need permission, nigga. We, we we throw good dick over these ways. Well, Ski, hey. hold up, wait a minute. Ski, nah, Nate over there. Ski Cap. can only throw twenty nine he... ninety nine worth of dick. <laughs> we still ain't paid for these dogs over here, so he, he ain't got thirty five dollars worth. But he throw twenty nine ninety nine worth of dick over there. Nate over there. Oh, you? He said right he sleep. up under. Yeah, Nate sleep. <laughs> Nate, Nate definitely sleep. Like she want my nigga to bust nuts in that thing, and he <laughs> he bullshit. <laughs> No edits, <laughs> nigga. Bye. <laughs> yeah, that boy. Knee anyway. deep sleep. Nate the Great. <laughs> nigga, Mr. Travel Lock on the Throwback Thursday looking ass. On the Throwback Thursday, man. Um, Yeah, man. So hopefully this nigga get us some tickets, man. We can hit a playoff game. Yeah, I'm ready. You ready? Yeah. I'm ready. I'm already know what I'm wearing. All right. So as far as NBA, the final, mm-hmm. who coming out? What you thinking? What's in your head? What's what, like? What you thinking? Just a, a West Coast, East Coast final, pretty much. Boy, like you said, they like he said they got the, the, boy, the record. If, if, if that ain't the most obvious answer, of course it's got to be a West Coast but team, I already, East Coast team. It ain't gonna be two West Coast teams, ski. Yeah, I don't really look at Phoenix like that, you know. But I ain't talking about Phoenix. Fuck Phoenix. Yeah, I'm I know who you talking about. You, you the end of the end. Yeah, it's gonna be the Lakers and BK. I told y'all niggas that day from day one. It's green light not really. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's in effect. Okay. So Lakers and BK. East Coast just looking. You know they playing over there. They balling, but you know West Coast. You had a couple players over there in that division that got hurt in and out. You know came back. Sitting down, chilling right now, but they they maintaining. The record still is, is the record, so the numbers don't lie. So we'll see. We gonna see, man. Yeah, we'll see. Flat out, we gonna see. Remember, man. I remember I told y'all last. BK, BK and the Lakers and the Lakers is what niggas is going for as far as the last of the Mohicans. Yeah, all day. Flat out. Yeah. All right. What uh? Let's uh, let's get into some shit. Let's get into this podcast shit. All right, it's gonna wrap. Get okay, into some shit. First of all, we're gonna go ahead and be transparent with the people. Mm-hmm. iTunes has made it available to where people can start charging for podcasts. Okay, paywall, right? Right. We might end up having to paywall. We don't know yet. Like okay. me and Ski ain't really discussed that behind the scenes. Right. Option. This was like two weeks ago, Apple mm-hmm. came out with their statement. Mm-hmm. This week, Spotify came out with their statement. Right. Damn. Saying we paywall. No percentage will be taken. Apple Podcast is taking 25 to 30% first year. After the first year, they definitely going to want their 15%, they say, mm-hmm. a year out your podcast. Spotify is charging nothing. And this is for? Podcasts on Subscription. Subscription-based podcasts. Mm-hmm. So you go subscription-based, and um, y'all as subscribers mm-hmm. would have to pay $5 or whatever the 
podcast network or would like host whatever the podcast people agreed on that they want you to pay. Right. It might be five dollars. Some people might charge twenty dollars out the right. gate. Twenty dollars a month. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But Spotify then came on board, Apple is on board. Everybody else is really gonna come on board. Okay. So I thought it would be dope to talk about it on air to try to see what you thought about the paywall, man. Man. Remember what, remember how we the conversation kinda kicked off like before everybody else get on get on board with it. Right. You know what I'm saying? I Fuck mean, yeah, because we was on it early. So it's kind of like, damn. I guess, I guess with me, it's just a challenge for real of being transparent, basically. Not even really thinking out the box. Like, it's official. Like, you, you could do that, you know what I'm saying? So it's just basically changing all the way over to where shit. Now you trying to See who really gonna subscribe, but you take away, you know, just the I guess the freebie, right? And that's what people say about like commercials for podcasts and yeah, shit like that. They yeah. saying that it fucks with the consumers listening, right, 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 right. But at the same time, we the low bulb niggas. Like it's right. people out here that got like millions of listeners, like. We got a lot of listeners, but we don't have nowhere like near a million listeners. Right. Like we're just gonna keep it a bean, no cap. Right. You feel me? So it's like will the the people stop listening? Or will the people keep listening? Because they gotta subscribe. And because they gotta be pay money now. Might pay money monthly. Right. And you know niggas don't, niggas will support you all day until the paper is involved. Yeah, I mean anything could be reasonable. You know what I'm saying? And if it ain't, it ain't. But right. like I think five dollars a month is reasonable. Yeah, you Especially could. for some niggas who've been giving you some shit for like damn near four years. Yeah, you 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 could squeeze five five a month. Yeah, five a month is nothing. But with the and that's the, and see where, well, see shit. We got two cats going on because I was getting ready to say, right? You ain't just you know. So it's kind of the the best best of both worlds if you do change, right? But I mean, as far as us, we only got one cast going on. Like we can't do it for me and wifey too. Like that's a whole other podcast experience. So true. It's just for this podcast. I what well, shit. That's what I said. Everybody. And then man, why who would have to embed that in our podcast too if we wanted to charge people to Yeah, Please. I I say motherfuckers, they got it. So Urban Access basically is charging you ten dollars a month. If you want to listen to every podcast on Urban Access Network. Cause and that seemed kinda only, wild. The, not, not the only thing that seemed kinda wild. Like, like from a cons- consumer standpoint. And then you got to think people listen to more than one podcast. But look, now check this out, though. You know okay. how, like, because I did this shit, you know what I'm saying? But it was a legitimate reason. Like, I had got the, the membership at the fitness. Right. Never went to that, huh? Nah, I used to go with Ant. Okay. So it would be like two times a week, you know what I'm saying? But literally right after the gig, you know what I'm saying? Just hit that hole for about an hour. That's all you need, about an hour. Okay. But they gave you options to, you know, freeze the mm. membership. So that's why I'm looking at it like you got people that will be paying for some quiet time, then they stop paying, they want to cancel. So that's what I'm more or less thinking about. But it's probably people that's been paying for so long, like Planet Fitness is so cheap. Yeah, but People that's, probably been paying out their account for hellers and still not going. Yeah, but I was just saying that's equivalent to – the Somebody podcast, the shit. podcast, because I'm just like I wouldn't even want that to happen. So that's why I said, as long as it's something reasonable, you know what I'm saying, five ten dollars. But that's the same as a membership at the fitness. Yeah, if you got it, you got it. It's just if you're gonna use, it. like you said, if you really tune into the cash shit, that's what I'm thinking. Go ahead and subscribe and get paid. Right, and that's if my you thing. Really, if you really, really listen, if you really support somebody, it don't matter how much it costs, you still gonna get it. Right, like. 
My nigga Hump charged for oh, yeah. 45 50 for a hat, bro. I had to get it. Like a new era hat, not even that much money. Yeah, I had to get it. And that was my first But it's one. like if you're going to support a nigga, then you're going to support a nigga no matter how much it costs. Yeah, and then you can't. See, that's a whole different situation if you if you look for the uh, the hookup. You get what I'm saying? So we just thinking thinking business. Like you said, you, whatever it is, if you're going to support and get it, you're going to get it. It don't, right. it don't matter the cost. Right. So, yeah. So, we we just, long story short, we don't know what the fuck we're going to do yet. We, we got to talk behind all the scenes. shit out. We got to figure this shit out because Spotify done came on board, and I'm guessing the more and more podcast hosts going to come out where they got the paywall option where you can charge people to. Right. Straight subscribe. Right. Cause because I we guess pay, if you, we if pay, because like. Apple. I pay motherfucking like thirty dollars a month just for the podcast to come out everywhere. Right, and that's like paper that the people don't see me spending it. I just spend. But if see, I was to put five dollars up as a paywall for you to listen to the podcast, you'd be like, "Fuck nah." But right. you don't even know that I'm paying thirty dollars a month to just right. like keep right. this motherfucker in your ear. Right. So you know what I'm saying. So that's why I was just like, I guess everybody had their different times on when they listen or when they want to tune in, you know, riding in the whip. Yeah. Shower time, wake and bake, get up in the morning, fixing breakfast, a little downtime. Just like if you was to read a book or play a uh, crossword, it's your, it's your little downtime, whatever you want to get your ears to the streets. Right. But I think most definitely it would be worth the run. But still and all, it's just like you it do got a takeaway. And we know the takeaway is just basically it's the it's the freebie because it's it's YouTube, but it's just like if you paying. But I but you but see, I already but see, I don't want to give them the sauce because I know we done sat down and talked about what's next. Right. So that's why I had to really Look under the big ass umbrella, the big polo umbrella. Throwback. Yeah. Shout out to the Metro Link because I left my shit on the Metro Link. Ooh. Motherfuckers got me for the big polo, but damn. Under the big umbrella. Uh huh. I think we if we we have fit right in with that because if 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 basically if you doing it for what we got going on, you gonna get something in return. Put it like that. Yeah. Not just Hearing some people talk about this, talk about that, had this type of talk. Right. You're going to get something else. Right. In return behind it. Right. Considering, on a consistent basis. Yeah. Considering the guests so, that we done had. Like, yeah. So you're going you're gonna to get a lot more. It's, it's been a lot of knowledge dropped. Oh, yeah. Big gems. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. I'm going to roll with that. But I'm going to still say it's challenging, though. It's a challenging Flat decision. Because, yeah. like, I don't want to play the people who don't want to pay then it's a pandemic. People ain't got the money to pay. Right, and right, 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 right. Five dollars, like you're not even gonna notice that being took out your account. But I, I've I've also learned in being the business owner, the people that you think gonna support you ain't gonna support you. Yeah, like you'll get more support from people who don't even fucking know you, right? Than the niggas who have known you for years, right? And that is like. A huge issue for ill Mac. Yeah. Like, how do I get more support from a nigga who I didn't know? I don't know at all. Right. But to people who've known me forever, um, like, they don't yeah. support me like everybody <laughs> else do. Like, right. I mean, I don't know where they come from. I guess if you don't expect it, or you know it should be there from day one. It's kind of like them, those supporters could become the bandwagon. But if it's day one, you supposed to support since day one and don't, don't, don't jump on. You get what I'm saying? Right. With anything when shit rolling. So it's just like come straight from day one. Don't, you know, make a left and then sit back and wait. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Like it'll make gotta use the bathroom. We got cuz playing. <laughs> we'll be right back. Hey yo, Pluto. You know 
crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> To never stress These niggas hate it on me Cause they know that I'm the best These niggas hating on me So I gotta keep a vest These niggas hating on me So it motherfuck the rest Riding down 55 Got the finny by a breast When I'm sliding downtown Got the 50 and the tech And the S But it looking like a motherfucking vet And when I drop the top Now she wanna give me six But let's see I got on me Looking like I really got it I got Ralph Simmons on me You ain't fucking with my closet I'm say they outside And they really sliding But we don't give a fuck Nigga we ain't never hide it. Remember we was broke Something we never forget I been in and out of jail ever since I was a kid. I've been in and out of hell ever since I could remember. Ever since I could remember, I've been hanging with the members. Ever since I could remember, heart been colder than December. And now I got a bag, and niggas so sad. They want me to meet my demise. Mm mm mm, it ain't no surprise. Yeah. When I got out the pen, I promise to never stress. Yeah. These niggas hate it on me, cause they know that I'm the best. Uh, These niggas hating on me, so I gotta keep a vest. Yeah. These niggas hating on me, so it motherfuck the rest. Yeah. Sliding down 55, got the finny by her breast. Yeah. Sliding downtown, got the 50 in the in the S, but it looking like a motherfucking vet. And when I drop the top, now she wanna give me six. Growing up in St. Louis, I done been through a lot. But they know, get the money and I fucking lay low. A 38 shooting through potato. Pull up on the side of a mama, hit the window. Get <laughs> mad cause we up right now. Got a bad little bitch trying to fuck right now. She young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, Mac, Yo, Mac out here fucking up. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, man, we don't know what we gonna do next. Yeah. We don't know, so. We'll figure it out. We'll let y'all know. Yeah. And, um. I don't know. It's a challenging thing, man. I'm, 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 I'm looking at two. Like, uh-huh. I stepped out. What was that? Probably like one day last week. Went to Steak and Shake. Right. I ain't been to Steak and Shake in hell. Cause all them bitches been closed. That's what I'm saying. I'm just like, damn. I'm kind of skeptical about even going. Cause the motherfuckers been open. I'm like, shit. They open. They open. They open. They open. <laughs> shit. Whatever. But it's like they been around for so long. Right. And then when they took that break, they had the signs up. All you need is 10, 10 grand to start you back. You know, so it's kind of like motherfuckers was, was waiting. Like, damn, who finna jump on that? You know what I'm saying? But some of them did reopen. Yeah. And shit, if on a consistent basis, if, if shit get back popping, it's just it's just up from there. It's it's still a challenge, though. That's why I was just like, shit, it's, it's worth it, though. If you're going yeah. to I mean, the it's, asset all day. At the end, I feel like you just really got to know what your worth is. Right. And you just got, you just got to go with what you know your, your worth is. Right. You can't really worry about who's going to pay, who's not going to pay. You yeah, just got to yeah, do what yeah, you're yeah, going to yeah, do. Yeah. Because there's a lot of podcasts out here, too. Right. So it's like, okay, is me charging people going to stop people from listening to my podcast because they paying, are already paying for this podcast? Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Which means in that case, on our end, we would have to make sure that the content just stay consistent. Consistent and fire as fuck. Fire. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Straight up. Because you don't pay for poor service. Yeah. Flat out. But we'll figure it out and we'll let y'all know. Right now, we're not paying. We're not charging nothing. <laughs> so, you know, flat out. Keep subscribing. Keep telling your peoples. Keep spreading the word, showing the love, dropping comments, answering a wifey question on Mr. and Mrs. Mac podcast. Flat out. Because uh, all the shit that's being done right now going to go a long way. It's going to go a long so, way, man. Well, uh, you know what I'm saying? Just giving our big token to all the real supporters. So. Flat out. Yeah, Mac. What's popping? We got eight months left. Eight months 2021. Left? The, Sheesh. Yeah. Three, three of them about to go by fast because it's summertime. It's exactly. You that got, shit going to fly. Mother's Day, Memorial Day, Fourth of July. Father's Day. Father's Day. Shout out to the Kings. Shout out to the Kings.
Yeah, then we going on the fourth. Man. But yeah, 2021, boy. Eight months. Eight months. What you trying to get done in the eight months, dog? Bro, I ain't. You got a movie you trying to get done. Yeah, and uh, businesses. And businesses. And shit. I can't wait to tell them about the one business. You ordered that yet? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't let y'all know. You uh, know what I'm yeah. saying? Uncle Ski Business. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So, you definitely know. in the secret sauce right now. Yeah, it's in the secret sauce. Hell so, yeah. But yeah, man. But it, I, I was just basically saying, like, the, the COVID shit just, I ain't saying rush in 2021, but when you when you look back at part of the years of 2021 had to do with COVID, mm. you just like, all right, fuck it. Motherfuckers getting vaccines. What's next? But literally, we got about eight, seven more months. So it's like, man, it's, it's already been grinding time. It's just more or less a time to realize Nigga, them the the next three gonna go by like that, right? So, whatever you know, what I'm saying just just kind of properly planning way ahead. So telling a motherfucker you got eight months, that's like four or five, at least five. Yeah, cause it, it definitely shrinks. It definitely shrinks. Yeah, yeah. I know. Uh, like I said, the summertime. Shit, shit finna be cracking. Yeah, things definitely change in the summertime. Months definitely pass a lot faster. Yeah. In the summertime. But eight months ain't just the summertime. Oh uh, yeah. So it's like what you what you wanna what you wanna get done in that in that time frame. Like where is ski at the be at January first, twenty twenty two? Shit that not the first, let's say the second. I'll give you a day. I'll give you 24 hours. Credit. You know what I'm saying? On another level from where it was. Okay. On the personal side. Uh, man, what else? Good travel, so I say. Good travel. You know, like you, 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 you put some time and thought to travel where it's like you just pick somewhere to go and you just want to go somewhere. Like motherfucker, put in the time and the proper prep. You know what I'm saying? Preparations to like, yeah, I'm, I'm hitting her. Most definitely, we could hit now. Yeah. So it's just like get a couple of them in in 2021. And I want to encourage at least people. a couple. I want to encourage people, man. Because I ain't really if a, you. If you're but I've been to, opening up a little bit more. Yeah, so. if you're trying to go out of town, and you're trying to do shit, yeah. like if the job don't want to let you off, then call off. <laughs> <laughs> like, a, you only got one life. You got it, too. You can you find got another time. job. <laughs> you can find another job, but right. you going to this spot at this time in your life. Right. May change your life forever. Mm-hmm. You never gonna get to get memories, but like memories are priceless. And I feel like a lot of people pass up memories because they're working at a job. Like especially if you're not in like a career setting, like right, you're not um, a firefighter, you're not um, a chemist, you're not nothing like that. Like right, you just. Um, a nigga working in the warehouse driving the forklift. Right. Fam, you can find another forklift job paying you the same goddamn money. Yeah, they don't let you out to travel. Yeah, they don't let you out to travel, though. But that's that's what the job is. It's a cap. Mm-hmm. Tell you how much they're going to pay you. I tell you how much time they're going to give you off. Right. And it's like, nah, I'm not confined to that. Like, nigga, I call off. You know what I'm saying? Hey, with the quick I'm going to come up with a, with a good excuse. Yeah, we're going to. Figure that all out before I even die. Yeah. That's Good right. excuse for the two, three days. Yeah. And that's what we're going to do. And if you don't like it, you don't like it. But right. I need this. De- I need these days. Me personally, that's a that's a personal sacrifice for, for the job. Because, hey, you got to go. Man, people should have more time <laughs> off at their job anyway. 
he'll say, fuck the 80. I need the 120. Yeah, I mean, like, you got to think about it. Give me that whole 120. You got to think about it, man. You had this motherfucker all year. I'm cool. Eight yeah. hours a day. Some people twelve hours a day, four even, or five even times 16, a week. Sixteen, shit. Even sixteen, four. I'm, sixteen, I, four days a week. Mention, like, come on, fam. Overtime or yeah, right. I mean, I I guess with 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 the COVID hitting so hard, I just think people need to go on and get that off. If you going, people go, definitely need to go. On. They ain't letting you off. Call off. Call off, man. Like, especially if it's something that you really want to do. If it's yeah. something dealing with your family, yeah, that sure. you want to go on a trip with your family, take that trip, man. Like, yeah. don't let these jobs determine how you live your life like that. Like, yeah. okay, if you get up and you don't feel like going to work, chunk it up, take your ass to work. Right. Turn on some feel-good music. Turn on some gossip music. Like, whatever right. you got to turn on to get your ass to work, get your ass to work when you don't feel like it. Right, but when you got an opportunity to spend time with your family, explore, you're never gonna get this time back. Yeah, that's why I'm kind of glad. In this uh, memory, you're not gonna be able to pay for. Yeah, the girls do they traveling thing. You know what I'm saying for yeah. us, and just being adventurous too. Yeah, on a consistent level, where it's like, fuck COVID. We, we, right, we, we they still do their thing. On their side of the family, what not? And then on my side of the family, they've been trying to do little trips and shit. And then, like I said, man, it's shit back opening up. Motherfuckers is out of here, like out of here, feet up. Like, so let me I, ask you I, this: I, like, I like I said, it's like with me personally, ski probably would never do another cruise. I wouldn't do. I wouldn't do another one. But yeah, feet up or. Trapping on the road, I'm out here. Yeah. Well, let me ask you this, right? Nah, we both, the topics we got, we probably not even going to be able to get to. We 52 minutes in already. Ah, uh, okay. But. We can wrap it up. with Being a, being a father, mm-hmm. right, mm-hmm. with a woman who is not the mother of your child or children. Right. Right. How do you feel about going on trips with the kids and the mother of your child? In urban terms, baby mama. Together? You're not together. Uh, at the same time. It's a difference. And I'm talking about with with boo being in place and with wifey being in place, I'm going to tell how I feel, but I want you to tell how you would feel about <laughs> you being like, you know what? I don't want my kids to experience this without me. I'm going. Like what memories? But basically, you, how do you, you choose your memories with uh, your children? With the kids? Right. When you're not in the household with your children. Ah, uh, uh, I guess at least you could be there for like all of their accomplishments. Uh-huh. And it's just that's that's real common. You know what I'm saying? All of it's common, you know what I'm saying? But it may get tricky, but at least that portion where it's support on, on both sides or whatnot. Like nobody's left out. Now other memories maybe and then again it's just like you you want to have them somewhat together and some of them by yourself you get what i'm saying so you want to at least have somewhat of a balance so they can see that though they ain't you know like literally as the parent have to intentionally plan it but that should kind of be a a a mind frame or a mindset to have to have somewhat of a balance and that's just basically saying yeah you can't Make it to every. It it could be all situation, but at least you find that balance to make it to you know enough on both ends, right? And even create situations where you know you 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 you're providing balance. Then, yeah, I mean, I feel the bush shaking. I feel you beating that motherfucker. What? Okay, but because that's why I said I really ain't. I ain't never really encountered like just besides those type of uh, memories, just where. 
is like sometimes holidays. I say that mm. most definitely birthdays. Mm. Um, you know, ceremonies at the school, and then just like I said, just creating your own shit when you when you have them or with them. It just be y'all versus all of y'all. Okay. So it's kind of like, shit, you, you just kind of go on your own. And I'm going to say this. What works? Be as a as a father. Right. Be careful how your value system changes. Yeah. Right? Because your woman at the time that is not the mother of your children can have her opinion on some shit. But this not even, it's not even in your value system. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. So if you think of the earth and you think of the atmosphere and then you think of the, uh, the layers of space or whatever the fuck, how that shit goes, astronomy, I ain't big on it. Ah, that shit. I don't know. (laughs) It's layers to this shit. Right. Like my nigga Meek say, it's levels to this shit. Right. When it comes to me and the experience that I want with my children, you're I, not on that level. Yeah, and then it's, you know what I'm saying. Like your level is polite. your level. Your level is under that level. It's not polite at all. It's clean cut. No, I'm talking about the opposite. For the the mother to not be a part. You get what I'm saying? The mother. Who is the mother? The plus mom. As they say in twenty, stepmother, yeah, yeah, you get what I'm saying. So it's kind of like, and it's it's not, meant like that for a reason, like, yeah, and it works. That's that's what but I was saying. But the thing it is, niggas move the goalposts mm. because the woman that they're talking to at that time doesn't feel comfortable with this going on, right? But I mean, my thing is. What the fuck do you think you fall mm-hmm. under the goddamn level? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no matter what we are, right? you never will come between, like, me and my kids. Yeah, it's just... No matter how you think it looks mm-hmm. or how you feel about it, I don't give a fuck about your feelings right? when it comes to what my kids want. If right. my kids come to me and say, yo, I want you to come, I'm going. Right. If you want to come, you can go too. If you don't, then don't. But don't make me feel some type of way because you don't. Right. Yeah, Flat you out. can't be caught up. You know, you don't You don't want to never get caught up in that right. type of situation. So it's just best to. And I think a lot of women have a hard time. Like, I don't want to say knowing their place, but knowing where they stand. In the life of a man who has children by another woman who is, like, literally, like, love their kids and want to take care of their kids and take care of their kids. Right. Like, I like I say, like, with my situation, like, with it just being, like, a year, I say, shit, it has been some fair share. But when you, when you got, like, kids or the mom, that's creative, so it's kind of like they do a lot. You get what I'm saying? But when it's conjoined, you get what I'm saying? And like you said, what, what it looks like, it's like, well, it's it's still being created. You know what I'm saying? It's just more or less some of the memories that you, you choose to create or be a part of, it's, it's already laid out. So it ain't really like, oh, I just roll with the punches. Like, nah, you... you some people have seen a balance of, you know, both families or parents being supportive and all that type of shit. Right. But we also heard parents and generations say, yeah, don't nothing come in in between. So it's kind of like, as long as you don't put yourself in a position or like you said, make yourself to feel some type of way just because of you're not doing or, you know, just being a part. Cause it's all about a process of what you what you trying to create. So shit, if you trying to create the memory, you just get the job done. Just don't and and be consistent, basically. 
Yeah, and I just, mean, just be consistent, basically. It so, might not even be all about the 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 memory, right? Right. It might right, be all right, right, just. Right. It might be just about like I love my kids, right? You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. as a man, I want to compromise my relationship with my kids for you, right? And, and, I, and you can't fault me for that because yeah. that's how it's supposed to be. And I could look, I could look at all dude like his situation. Like that's why I said like the the common. You know what I'm saying for is like like graduation for example, right? Like my dad ain't ain't have no girls, but um, he was at all our graduation for high school, and then shit, he I know for a fact he was at my sister graduation, right? But see, if you know, you know, you get what I'm saying. So yeah. it's kind of like that's just a, a a good example of a a a memory that was created. But was possible was possible was a Rolling Stone. During that era of y'all life, though. Right. He wasn't really committed to, like, one single person at that time. He was like, you know, I'm fucking with her right now. I'm fucking with her right now. You know what I'm saying? I might, you know what I'm saying? The next month, few months, it might be fucking with her. Right. He was, he was, just, he was doing him. Right. Pops was out here living at that point. Right. What I'm talking about is, is when you locked in the situation. Uh-huh. And the motherfucker who you fucking with and right. been fucking with. Feel some type of way about something that might, you know. What I guess, and then I guess I, I kind of just try to, in my situation, we just try not to even. I guess if you communicate about it up front, you know the feeling up front, and then it kind of won't linger. Right, and I feel like that comes with the the first initial situation being nipped in the bud. Yeah. Like when you when you date when you date a woman and you have kids and mm-hmm. the situation comes up to where she's like, well, I don't feel like I'm comfortable with you going around your baby mama and your kids. Just the it's like okay, well, look, ma, you can go. Yeah, just the comfortability. You can go. Yeah. If you coming in the gate thinking you can compromise my relationship with my kids, because I I think you I had, can go. You can't do that. I had the school little bro. I said. uh Man, I ain't even really giving the spill on like too short, but once he gave me the the fine line of just basically saying his baby moms and his girlfriend, you know, and I'm just like, well, I I can't say okay, that's that's them. Only thing I can speak on is is from a big brother and an uncle standpoint, as if well, you got. The seed, you got the seed. You get what I'm saying. So mm-hmm. you got to create. So pretty much, I had shut that down when he said, "They don't get along." Whatever the case may be, but I don't know why. Whatever. That, that's just a little spill of of that portion. But I was just basically saying, like, yeah, don't let that um uh, pretty much come in between. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, nigga, yeah, you, you, you talking to somebody that. I have been there, but it was just more or less. I was looking at the fact that you got a newborn, not even newborn, but shit, yay high. So that's when the motherfucking memories get created. So that's when I was just saying those feelings of you know they 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 shouldn't even be there. They don't don't let that get created. Yeah, you can't don't don't stunt the growth. Yeah, of what, and that's what a message suppose. to any woman dating a man who got kids. Like, man, and just don't, let that and man do him when he come to his kids. Like, don't try to manipulate this situation. If that nigga wanted to be with his baby mama, he would be with his baby mama. Best believe yeah. that. Why the fuck would we be fucking with your ass? And then I, if say he wanted too, to be with baby, with when you, baby mama, when you do, I guess when the kids see just motherfuckers just getting along, they know. What it is, because it's already locked in. Yeah. When they don't know, they may be curious like George, ask questions, or get to scratching heads. But the more they see, it's just more being created yeah. of, of a of a memory. So that's why I, I as I said, I appreciate nigga family first, loyalty, everything, because that's what I'm saying. Like when the memories is created, it ain't like oh, it's done today. And it, ain't, it might not be done like damn near four or five months. Like, nah, shit. Right. Be going in. Yeah. Continuation. I mean, because life consistent. is short. Right. So 
Best like, believe it's a lot of fathers out here that missed yeah. out on the opportunity because of a new woman that they was fucking with. Right. And they might have never saw their child again after that day. Right. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you can't let And I and I and we could wrap it up on this because it now now don't get me wrong. You may even bump his, but it's 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 gotta be a life lesson. Like it can't be a yeah. We 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 learn the day and we gonna keep going back and forth about it. Yeah. Now we we gotta learn, resolve, and, and move forward. But we gotta respect the lesson involved of it. But like I remember when pops was taking us out of town or something, and Barry wasn't having that shit because she it was all it was all good for the for the go. You right. know what I'm saying? But when she found out another one was involved that she didn't know. You know, his whole thing was, shit, you with me, you good. You say, you know what I'm saying? You shouldn't exactly. have nothing to worry about. That shouldn't matter. So, that, like you said, it was a accountability, but you was all good beforehand. But see, that's why I was saying, like, yeah, when it's... you live to see that and know that that happened, that's a, that's a straight lesson right there where yeah. you look back at it and like, man, that ain't. Right, because it, it comes off like like you can manipulate whatever the fuck you want to, but you're not going to manipulate. You're not going to manipulate my my relationship with my kids. It's just a reach one, teach one situation. And as a uh, as a child's mother, mm-hmm. they shouldn't try to manipulate that situation either. You and know what it, I'm saying? And some and some kings get checked by queens, just more or less telling them don't be petty. Oh yeah, you know, figure it out. I mean, because it's, a lot it's of them, you the one that got a means. You know right. what I'm saying? So it's a lot of it's a lot of them that's gonna have issues, right? But you can't let the issue affect you and your children. Nah, don't do but that. But so, but that's a testament of whole love, real mm-hmm. love. Right, right, right. Like right. If, a, if a chick fuck with you and she love you, right? She know you love your kids. So yeah. if you gotta go and I can't go, right? I give more fuck about. Your love for your kids right now Than you do for your love for me Because that's what it's supposed to be You know what I'm saying Because I know uh, But women don't understand that And they manipulate niggas to be like You know what Yeah well We shouldn't do this because You shouldn't do that Because it's so and so and so and so And I don't feel comfortable with that It's like Bitch fuck who the fuck you feel comfortable with Like these my kids What the (laughs) fuck is you saying You thought you had You thought you really had to say so yeah, but I I promise to God I I see where well, Ill had his first before me, but I I know your passion, but I was like I know uh you nah know some people just had a big head like you can't uh tell you nothing about yours. You get what I'm saying? Like when you don't have to go there that much that much about that, they right. already know that. You get what I'm saying? So that's why I was saying like I already know they know that about yours, but when you Got to let a person know that, or somebody got to let them know that all the time. That just means somebody always testing you in that type of area, or whatever. Yeah. It's just like people know, you know. And you just got to let. You don't even want to be involved in that. Yeah, you just got to let new new motherfucking chick or new boo know or new new side chick know. Like, yeah. hey, not side chick. I'm sorry, Queens. But <laughs> you just got to let them know, like, hey, look. These are my kids, and like you ain't gonna be able to fuck with this aspect of my life. Anything yeah. else, you can tell me how to change, how to be different. I'm gonna hear you out because I owe you that, right? But other than that, you over with. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, tell the people what you gotta tell the people, man. Hey man, if y'all ain't already did, go subscribe and hit the like button or something. Just move a muscle or something on in your hand or whatnot, and show some love, show some support. Uh, answer the question It should be coming up Sometime this week On the Mr. and Mrs. Mag podcast yeah. Cause wifey don't be playing About the, the question Let's talk So keep that going <laughs> Keep that flowing um, Be on the lookout man More content coming this month If y'all ain't had a chance Go on Urban Access Network On YouTube And look up the recap Of the B-Day You know what I'm saying Just had a little good time man And uh, what else did We threw up on the content This week uh, still taking pre-orders if y'all want a hoodie because everybody's starting to ask. You see, it's, it's it's April showers, but that wind's starting to kick in, and I know y'all see me snub in my shit. You want one, but if you want one, I'll take the pre-order. 
and get you right. And in between time and the meantime, again, if y'all want some healthy supplements, go on FNX. It'll make time to call. FNX Fix. Call FNX Fit is FNX TIRV. FNX TIRV. You put that in, cold box, gonna get you 15% off. Automatic. All day. Right out. That's motherfucking kids' supplements, uh, turmeric, apple cider vinegar gummies, krill oil. Uh, me and wifey take the uh, multivitamin every day because yeah. it's COVID out here. Right. So you got to be protected. They got vitamin C, all the vitamins in there, huh? Yeah. So, yeah, make sure you go, man, and they support us. Yeah. And maybe if you niggas buy some FNX fit, we won't have to charge you niggas to listen to the damn podcast. I heard you and wifey had threw out some merch and shit. Y'all was trying to get the uh your man's a T-shirt. Yeah, my nigga JN84. Yeah, I seen he be faithfully listening to and, the uh, And Kiki, yeah. Okay, yeah, shout out to Kiki. They man. got shirts on the way, man. Shout out to y'all, man. They listen to me and Wifey's podcast faithfully. You know what I'm saying? Um, and they answer the question every week. Yeah. They be tuned in. Yeah, I'm ready this So, week. yeah, they're going to get the um, answer a couple weeks. Yeah, we got to send them some shirts, man. They're going to get the UA <laughs> shirts, box logo. Okay. Flat out. Okay. Tell them where to find you, Ski. Man, find me on the gram at DMFelton2. Find me in the streets with that UA merch. Ooh. Don't be scared to approach. I may always have the mask on, but you see the UA on my chest. Just politely ask me, and we could figure that out for you. That's Cap. Ski, Ski be having the Amazon merch on, too. Nah, on the low. On the low, low. I've been looking for my shit. So this is a PSA announcement. It's a per- <laughs> it ain't in the studio. Okay. Somebody, I ain't gonna say somebody didn't get me because I've been keeping up with my shit. It ain't it ain't lost. It just need to be found. Flat out, we gonna keep it like that. But I'm about to put in another order on their ass because I ain't finna keep looking. Oh yeah, I'm about to put in another order too. Okay. Flat out. But uh, yeah, man. Um. Women, don't try to get in between the men and his kids, man. <laughs> Flat out, like just don't do it. It's not, it's not worth it. If you love a man, you love everything they come with. Just like if you got kids and you want a man to motherfucking come in your life, you want him to love, the, love your kids just like he love his own. So, quit bullshitting. Let that nigga do what he got to do. You feel me? Y'all know what it is, Big Zeke. Really, we are this motherfucker. <laughs> I asked her if this really what she wants. Is this really what you want? Is this what you want?